Welcome to another episode of Don't Quit Your Daydream. Today I'm here with Peter Leon, a filmmaker and musician, and uh, I'll let Peter say a few words about himself. So Peter, can you tell us a little more about what you do? I'm a filmmaker and musician. <laughs> So how did you uh, get into filmmaking um, and when did you realize that this was your passion? I've always just loved film in general ever since I can remember when I was a little kid. You know, that was all I used to do is just watch movies and my best friend when I was eight years old his parents got him a camcorder so we just started making our own little home movies and I pretty much just never quit. Everyone else like grew up and went on to do other things and I just stuck with it. And what's your favorite part about filmmaking? I guess coming up with the story and seeing it just evolve from concept to creation, my favorite part is just seeing what I have in my head come out on screen. So you, you write as well, or you do the story creation? Yeah, so I co-write the movies with my writing partner, Patrick Goldie. So yeah, me and him both write it, and then I direct them. And I'm also in a band called Dead Retina. It's like a hardcore punk band. We are going into the studio tomorrow to record some more music, and we're going to have a new 7-inch record out. All right, so go ahead, feed me a gummy bear. Oh, you got to ask me a question first, though. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so uh, is there a recent project that you're working on that you can talk about? Yes, there is. <laughs> it is called Three Nights in Hell. It's a, uh, again, it's a comedy, action comedy. It's about uh, robbing the mob. This is the first one, I think this is, no, this is the second one we've done that actually takes place in modern day, so it's not a, a period film, so I'm kind of excited. Um, what's your favorite genre, or do you always kind of stick with like the comedy action? Well, I found in my experience that it is better for people to laugh with you than at you, so I try to do comedies, because if you try to make a low-budget drama, it just comes, no matter what you do, if you make it for a million dollars, it's going to look cheap, so yeah. I just stick with comedies. Yeah. But it sounds like you also enjoy making people laugh. I try, yeah. Do you uh, find that there are any particular benefits or challenges working in Tucson? Mm, well, everyone always complains about the city that they're in, but I like Tucson. You know, it's home, it's home to me. I've grown up here my whole life, and I've just, I don't know, I have no desire to go to L.A. or do anything like that. So the benefits are I know everybody. Everybody knows me. I have a big circle of friends and the support system and everyone's on board to always help out so I'd say that's a pretty big benefit is whenever I'm ready to roll with the next movie I have a whole group of people that want to do it with me. But I just don't think that people realize the creativity that's in Tucson. Everyone is always talking about moving to Austin or going to LA or New York but if they just take a look around yeah there's a big film community here. One time we were in LA filming a uh, sci-fi on a sound stage and my buddy Jamie, we were all finished filming, we we're all giving each other hugs goodbye and we were in the parking lot of the hotel and so we went to go try to hug me and I was like Jamie you better not try to lift me up because I'm a lot bigger than you and he's like don't worry I can do this. Put his arms around me, he lifts me up, crack, broke his back, collapsed to the ground, started crying, had to call 911, the paramedics came, loaded him up, took him to the hospital. Damn. He spent like two weeks in the hospital there. Poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, thank you so much for, uh, you know, allowing us to come and interview you. It was really great to talk about your work and, you know, how you feel about the Tucson community. So Yeah, thank you. It was great so having much. you in my house, sitting on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> you happy. <laughs> All right. <laughs>